Hey guys, it's finally December 20, uh, 25th, yeah, I wish, uh, today is December 11th, 2017, uh, I live up upstate New York, uh, and it's getting really cold, and, uh, if you guys v see, uh, uh, or view through my channel, I have, uh, a few videos on my, uh, home theater setup, and one thing to note is that I have the, uh, Polk Audio MC60, uh, two of them for my Atmos setup and my concern during this time of month is uh, the cold I installed this uh, back in March which was fine back then I you know it was hot it was you know I, I didn't really care much as far as losing heat uh, so now it is a concern I mean as far as uh, sound goes with these speakers they're amazing uh, for the price I paid for them, uh, I mean they didn't they didn't break the bank. Um, they at the time I got these for a hundred bucks uh, per speaker. I got two, so uh, two hundred bucks for them. Uh, right now they're going for sixty nine dollars on Crutchfood.com right now. Uh, I'm not sure about Amazon or whoever. Um, also, I'm not getting sponsored by Crutchfood just by mentioning their name or anything like that. So. Just throwing it out there. Um, on crutchfood.com right now, uh, it's, like I said, it's going for $69. Uh, and they're actually listed as top seller on their website with uh, almost nearly five stars with 59 reviews. Um, Over a great build, great speakers, love the design. They're paintable and they're water resistant. Great overall. I didn't have any complaints uh, as far as... Um, uh, installing it uh, or any uh, a premature wear or, or or anything like that in the, in the past what several months I've, I've owned it so they're six and a half inch uh, speaker size so they're pretty um, they're the starting point basically I mean there are five and a quarter but six and a half is a good good starting point for uh, these speakers uh, for your um, room uh, if you, you know I have a 17 by 35 feet uh, living room on the note of the living room um, Let's rewind a little bit on how I ran the wires uh, real quick um, Because I know it's intimidating uh, For a lot of folks uh, who want to install in ceiling speakers speakers, but don't know how to uh, That's why there's actually an actual market that was actually made um, For up firing speakers uh, But let's, that's a different topic, but so how I did it was, I basically because my the back wall of my home theater system is the um, exterior wall, and I don't have access to the top plate of the wall in the attic because of the uh, the way the, the roof the roof slopes down. So I ran the wires behind my baseboard, uh, and as you can see in this picture right here, I actually made a groove behind the the, the baseboard. And I, and I ran it along the baseboard all the way back to the rear wall where I have access to the receiver. And then I, then I ran the wires to the interior wall and I ran it up to the attic. And then, of course, I plugged it into the, uh, the, uh, the speakers. So basically, you have to know where to drill. Just find a location on the first floor. Poke a hole so that you know when you climb up there, you know where you're at. And then drill down to the top plate. Now, mind you, I always be cautious of electrical wires. That's that's one thing. All right. So basically, you drill a hole, feed the wire up to the attic, and then plug it in. Basically, I know it sounds it sounds easy, but it, it took me some time to actually do this whole process. So I know that's that. Um, but yeah, just just spend some time, plan it out. It, it should be all right. Uh, save you a couple hundred dollars. Uh, and buying uh, up firing speakers. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's get back to the point of this video is um, heat loss. Um, so let's just get straight to the point. I have a few uh, high speed videos I'll show you guys on how I build these boxes um, and then how I basically just install them on top of these uh, speakers. In the attic and uh, just to give you an idea uh, how I did it so here it is
So we're near the completion of this project. Uh, at this point, after making other cuts, uh, now it's just assembling it into a, a box and then just putting it over the speakers in the attic. So obviously you're gonna need some screws. I'll use some drywall screws, uh, number six, uh, one and one quarter inch uh, screws right there. I am, instead of using, well you could use uh, wood glue, I'm just going to use uh, white silicone glue uh, caulk, uh, they're about $250 uh, a bottle, inexpensive, along with a caulk gun to uh, apply the caulk, and, uh, and a screwdriver or, uh, or a drill to make So currently here you see what's, uh, what's going on. I've been uh, having this set up for quite some time. Uh, it's, it's cold now, so as you can see where the speaker is being held, there is no uh, insul in insulation anywhere around the uh, the area. So I could be losing heat. Um, I don't know. So building a box serves two purposes, better base, and of course, uh insulating my house so let me uh get this out clean the air up a little bit and uh put this box in now it is winter uh it is cold 
up here right now, obviously. So, just trying to get all this dirt and dust out of the uh, area. Because once this box goes in, it's not coming out. So, the only part is I will be having trouble with this recording. So, there is no way for me mounting this anywhere. Um, I have no tripod, no GoPro. This is, I'm using my phone and my uh, flashlight in my head right now to film, film this. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire out. I'm going to drill a hole through the box, feed it through, and then caulk it. And then you'll see the, the finished production, okay? Um, but don't forget to uh, seal the perimeter uh, where the box is. So that way there'll be a tight seal in there. All right? I'll be back. So I applied the box and uh, basically cover up the surrounding area with uh, the the, the, the uh, spray installation. Uh, and I drill a hole through right there and then I caulk it. You see it? So it's just pretty much sealed. Um, I might have to actually anchor this box down because I don't think that glue actually might hold it. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just come up here with an L bracket and seal it or put some weight on top of this. Either way it'll work. Uh, but pretty much this is it right here. So, pretty happy with the the custom box. Over here is going to be a sugar over there, which I will not film. Because uh, it's very uh, tight as it is over there. Alright guys. Alright, due to the limitation of the angle of the roof, I could not <coughs> put this uh, box in without taking the speakers out. Uh, there was not that much of a clearance in the, in the attic. So I took the speaker out, which gave me some clearance to slide the box in, and it's hitting the freaking roof up there. So I can't move forward, I can't even seal it right here. Um, guess I could kind of seal it right here, if I wanted to. There is some draft still, but, which kind of sucks. Hopefully it doesn't affect the audio that much. Um, but yeah, got the straw, the power wire through. I caulked the uh, the entrance of uh, the hole right there where the wire is going through. Once that hardened up, that should prevent some of the air leak from above. But the bottom part where it's contacting the drywall, it's not sealed <coughs> like uh, like that one over there. So, but since we got the speaker out, here's a better look of it. Empty some of that dust in there and see how much dust accumulated over the past six months. That's how much dust is coming off of this. Look at that dust. <laughs> yeah. That's quite a bit of dust actually. So, with the box, I hopefully, you know, stay clean. Over the next five, ten years, you know. So yeah, <clears throat> wipe this down, put this back up. So the with the tweeter, you can, that, that can actually be angled left or right. I think it's 360 actually. So you can pivot it either way you want, where the uh, listener or you see or where your where's your seating uh, position is. But since this is right above where I'm sitting, it's aimed straight down only. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So the speaker's back up. That's how the speaker looked like mounted on the uh, ceiling. Uh, like I said, my, the seating position of the uh, listener is right below the uh, the Atmos speaker. So instead of pivoting the Twitter, tweeter is aimed down directly at the listener. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is, like that. Is, ah, I'm gonna leave it the way it is right now. Um, key note is that when you install these, do not over tighten these bolts. You may break one of the um, anchors, so just enough where it's seated, and just back off. Um, with that, during uh, now here's the, uh, the finishing touch. Now this you just push right in, and it'll stick in right there. There you go. And when you want to remove it, you just grab a paper clip and poke right through it and pull. So after all of that, I think the only thing I will probably change in this video or in this project is the actual material, material that I've used. Uh, instead of using OSB, use MDF. I think you would probably get a better performing speaker using MDF uh, to build your box.
instead of the OSB. Uh, one, the MBF is a much more denser material than OSB. It's, it's actually a, a heavier too. Um, so it'll actually probably give the speaker a, a much more better performing um, uh, effect or sound using that material uh, instead of OSB. Uh, another thing is that I'm not sure if I touched base on this, but when, when using or when installing uh, anything that's in wall, uh, always use in wall rated speaker wire or wire period. Do not cheap out and use regular speaker wires. I know these are low voltage wires, but just follow your, your town code, your state code. Just go with the CL2 rated wires, uh, just to basically protect yourself, just in case if there's ever a fire, uh, you won't be asked out uh, with your insurance uh, company. So CO2 wiring, use MDF aboard, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, if I haven't mentioned it already, um, what the uh, Polk uh, headquarter or co a company recommended for these uh, enclosure is a uh, one cubic foot um uh in building these uh boxes you can build it whatever dimensions you want build it to specs and you're done um if you like the video thumbs up if you don't you know what to do uh thanks for watching uh see you next time